Hello, good morning, and welcome to the celebration space. My name is Kaylee Phelps, and today I'm not feeling super great. Y'all are catching me in my top knot and my jammies, but it's actually perfect because this is an outfit that I would probably typically wear when I'm doing some cleaning around the house, and today we're talking about organizing our cleaning tools. So if you recognize this space behind me from my video on Tuesday, wait, Wednesday. Uh, just a couple days ago I talked about my laundry room because my laundry room is really a laundry closet and um, half of the laundry room is my laundry materials and then the other half is some cleaning materials. So I really wanted to talk to you all about this so I'll show you all right here. Cleaning materials, switch, laundry materials and then up top you can watch the other video to hear about all what's up there but normally just some smaller electronics and stuff so yeah i want to talk about where i keep my cleaning essentials what i use them for um some little helpful maybe clean cleaning tips and tricks and then some underutilized spaces for cleaning tools and yeah so we'll we'll dive right into it so y'all have seen what this looks like um i'm gonna get down from this side what i have up here so I'll just start going down the the end I have this little you know duster that I use just about every single week if you live in an apartment complex you might find or in an office space you might find that you have more dust coming in than what you have in a normal home environment mostly because the more people that are populating a space and sharing the same air vents the more of the particles of their skin and more cells and more more things are happening in that space so you might find that there's more dust i really didn't dust my room growing up that much because it was four people and some animals living in a space and then i moved to chicago i went into my dorm room and there was dust everywhere all the time so um living in an apartment complex i do have dust I, I feel like it accumulates week to week maybe you love dusting i don't love dusting but this little guy helps a lot and then i have some refills just in this basket just since i know that i dust quite a bit and then these are also for my swiffer you'll see that i have the boring swiffer the old school swiffer i've had it for forever since ooh, i'm gonna say circa 2014 maybe yeah 2013 maybe so seven or eight years of we'll we'll call it around there and yes these are the dry version of it what i actually like using these for rather than drying after um after mopping with the swiffer is i like to put them on the swiffer and use them for my crown molding or for dusting higher places because it goes a lot faster using it for baseboards it goes a lot faster than trying to get down with this little guy or trying to get up on something i can just walk around and get it all done at one time so i don't dust my crown molding or baseboards as much as maybe i probably should but it is a helpful tip or trick that i use for that so next up is really the big doozy with all this basket has basically all of our cleaning supplies um in here that we don't use day to day so I'm not gonna go through every single thing I have in this basket because as you can see, it's a lot. But a couple of highlights that I would say, um, I have two of these right now, but this carpet cleaner is incredible. If you have pets or kids, please, please, please get this carpet cleaner. I know it's backwards right now. It's Carbona Oxy Powered ca Carpet Cleaner. Seriously, we have white carpets and two cats and two humans that, you know, are sometimes messy. And I mean, I've spilled red wine. There has been cat throw up. There has been, I'll save you the details, but this guy really helps a lot. Wipe it up. Usually do a pat down, scrub a dub dub. It already has this sponge in there for you and then wipe it back up. And um, normally I'll do a quick vacuum over it just to help help it dry and pick up any loose particles. But this really works wonders, highly recommend it. Um, then in these two um, things, I have some Windex, which I grew up using Windex. I love the smell of Windex, God bless. I think it's wonderful. I use it for a lot of our mirrors 
and um, we have a couple glass countertops, so that's really helpful. And this is just white vinegar. So if you have any kind of pink mold, um, black mold I think is the, the worst, but if you have any kind of pink mold, normally it's where you have some more, um, you know, water that's kind of sitting somewhere. So sometimes if you have a drip in your shower at the bottom of the shower, or if you have, if you don't clean off underneath your faucet where the, where the water comes out, sometimes there'll be a little bit of pink there on the clean side of the sink where you put dishes or, you know, different little things like that. This pink or this white vinegar actually kills the mold. It helps a ton. We've had some leakage in some of our window sills. So there's been some still water on the window sills wipe it up spray this wipe it back away works wonders it's really great it's also safe for your pets and your kids so two great things just to have on hand right there i think um if you live in an apartment complex my number one tip is this little guy this is the magic eraser and I don't know what's in this. I don't know how it works. I have no idea how it functions, but I think that um, they really help with any kind of scuffing on your walls. So the if you have if you live in an apartment complex, a lot of it has like kind of a I don't know dust based paint or it's like a, almost like a spray paint so it comes off really easily so any kind of scuffs that happen this is really helpful so i got a question why are your containers windex and vinegar not in labeled containers so really this one is i know that i i pretty much since i don't have a ton of clear containers i know that this one is my vinegar and i know this one with the blue liquid is my windex so if you have a lot of containers that you need to have labeled or you have a lot of these i would recommend getting a label machine is incredible but i i just kind of know these two and they both just happen to be blue but this one you can smell the vinegar on it and then this one i know is um is my Windex, but thank you for that question. So definitely if you have multiple sprayers where you don't have labels on them or you're switching up your sprayers, please make sure that you have them labeled so you don't end up spraying white vinegar on your mirror or on um, a clear countertop. So that is what I have there. And then lastly, I would just say in this big, you know, bin of fun, I would recommend having a cleaning toothbrush if you don't already have one. And then also I have this last swab, which I really love and highly recommend. It's basically a reusable cotton swab, but it's actually um, plastic or I'm trying to think of what this material is, but it's reusable. You can just wash it off and it is really helpful if you have any kind of grout or smaller space where you're trying to get some grossies out of it. And it has, they have these for um, these, um, um, they have these for your makeup and they have them for cleaning. So this is the cleaning one. You can see it has some little grooves on it. And yeah, so that is, and then if you don't have a cleaning toothbrush, please retire your old toothbrush. I think you're supposed to switch them out every three or six months and just give it a really good wash. And then you have something, you can see mine's a little frayed. It has been well loved and well used. So that's what I have here as far as all of my cleaning materials um, up in here. I have some glass and tile cleaner. I have some toilet cleaner. I have some glass wipes. I have all of the normal basics that you'd have. And then as I said, this Swiffer, sweeper wet mopping things, I use these obviously to mop the floor. But a huge tip that I have is if you hate washing your tub or shower as much as I do. These also work really great on your tile or around the tub or getting things done since they're so saturated already and they have like a really absorbent side. I'll put it on the mop and then I'll also when it's like kind of depleted, I'll just put it on my hand and just wash around it. So these are really helpful in multiple ways. I highly recommend using them if you have the fancier Swiffer see what you can work with, but this I highly recommend for multi-purpose use. Speaking of my Whiffer, Swiffer Wet Jet, ooh, I got another question. Um, same size containers for storage. That is a good question. So for me, I really highly recommend just using what you have, and if you have a budget 
for organization if you want to get same size containers if you want to have really unified you know and make it look pretty I think having the same size containers is really wonderful. If you are working with what you already have, you can normally, I mean, you can make labels out of little pieces of tape and writing on it with Sharpie. For me, I got these two containers at the same time at Target, but you'll notice that there's a different container here and there's a different container up here. I really try to use what I already have and work with that. If you have old Tupperware that you're not using, I mean, you can find containers. Um, I think I posted about Marshalls and the Dollar Tree. Both have really great container options. So for me, it's not necessary. That's more of a um, aesthetic preference. So for me, it's more about having things functional and having things organized where I want them to be. But maybe someday I'll have unified, beautiful containers with label makers. Right now, it's more about knowing where my items are and being able to grab them. So thank you for that question, Lisa. Great question. And if you have questions on where to get really nice containers, the Container Store is incredible. It's a little bit pricey depending on the items that you're looking for. Amazon also has some incredible resources too. If you have questions, you can also check out my products page where I have really taken a lot of the work out of it for you, looking for things that I have already used, a friend has used, or I have really scoured the review section and looked for items that have a great number of reviews and also have high review rate ratings. So I hope that answered that question. We're going to move on to the next space, which is my utility closet. So if you live in a small space and you're not using your utility closet, I feel like you're really doing yourself a disservice. Um, right here is so helpful. I have my vacuum, which I love. This is pretty new. This is a quarantine vacuum. So um, I have it right here, but behind it, you'll see my tried and true seven or eight year old Swiffer. Um, this is more of an outdoor broom that we use for in front of the apartment and then on the back porch. And then this is my little indoor broom that I keep right way back here. And all of it is right near the kitchen and the laundry room area. So I know I can grab, oh, I go down here a little bit, grab my Swiffer mop and then grab my Swiffer wet um, uh, pads and then be able to do everything all at once. So it makes things and life pretty easy to have it all right here. We also have our bigger trash can in this space, which we accumulate trash in here throughout the week. So we have a smaller trash can that you'll see under the kitchen sink. And then anything that's more smelly or gross, um, put it in this trash can right here. And it is nice because there's an extra door so that if anything really starts to smell bad, it's really contained. So it has the lid on it and then it's all in there. So it's nice and out of the way and we can take our smaller trash and consolidate it over there, grab trash cans from the other areas of the house, bathrooms mainly. So yeah, that is um, that space. And then my last two spaces I'm gonna show you should be pretty quick and easy, but they are pretty low. So I'll show you, let me show you where they're at. So one is under the kitchen sink, speaking of that, and then one is right over here um, to the left. And then you'll see that the dishwasher is on the right. So we're going to bear with me as we go down to be able to open these spaces. So we'll open this guy up and you can see that I have my tried and true do-it-yourself cleaner. So I did my first video ever on this cleaner. It also is not labeled, but I know that this is my, um, it's mostly tea tree oil, water, grapefruit oil, and lemon at this time. And it's really great for a disinfectant spray, really cleans well. Um, I also keep just a little bit of hand sanitizer down here just so that it's in a central location in the house. Um, trash bags are here, an extra little cleaner, especially for water bottles. This is amazing that I keep down here. I don't use it every day, but 
use it a lot of times and then I'm sitting right in front of it, but my stack of bamboo towels. So they are all well loved and well used and they are all right in this section right by my, my cleaner. These are all in a different section than what I had in the laundry room because I use these every single day. I wipe down the kitchen counters every single day and um, also use them, use this spray for the bathroom counters and most areas of the house. So um, that is nice to have. And we're moving on to my last section, which is right here. And you can see there is some stuff going on in here. So I just bought these and I'm excited about it. These are dishwashing detergent um, little pods. So I'm sorry this is backwards for you, but I'm really excited to try them. Um, they have great reviews and I my dishwasher hasn't been doing super great so I'm going to see how that how that goes I'm trying to save more water I have this board tonic for um, my bamboo cutting board so this really helps to clean it out because we use our cutting boards all the time so having this it really helps clean it um, yeah so it's mostly um, coconut oil and lemon essential oil based so um, yeah, I highly recommend having that for our wood tables. I do have this Pledge Revive It Moisturizing Oil Spray, which um, has helped out a lot. And then just some random cleaning filters. So for our, for our compost bin, we have filters right here. And then also Blue Apple, which I mentioned I'm going to do a video on some of my favorite eco-friendly products. This blue apple helps to save all of our produce so much. It absorbs a lot of the gases that make your fruits and vegetables go bad. So it helps their longe longevity. So these are just refill packs for both of those. I have Brita refill packs over here, all of my baking soda. So all I have three of these over here on this side, which if you don't know, we have one in our fridge, there's like 150, 200, 300, I'm not even sure. Um, the number of different ways you can use baking soda in your home. So please get some baking soda, do a little research, see what you can do with it. And then lastly, I have, um, I got these um, washing machine cleaning tabs and dishwasher cleaning tabs. So I ran these in the dishwasher and my washing machine. Living in an apartment complex, it can get a little bit I don't want to say sketchy, but someone has lived here before, someone used this space for their, you know, and I don't know how often they cleaned out those spaces. So I really like using those just to keep them at peak efficiency and also see, um, know that they're clean. We are going to be living in this apartment until, for over a year, we just re-signed our lease, so until next October. So I know that I'm going to be using those uh, appliances for a while, so might as well make sure that they're clean. So those are all of the cleaning materials in my home. As you can see, they go from this cabinet to this daily cabinet to right over there in the laundry room at the end of the kitchen. And that little utility closet is right across the way from that. So I try to keep them all pretty centrally located right here and keep them close to what they work with so the dishwasher tabs are right near the dishwasher, etc., etc. So that's how I organize my cleaning materials. Please let me know if you like to have more labels or like different containers or if you prefer, if you have a really great solution for making your dishwasher work better. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please don't hesitate to comment below. Let me know if there's any videos that you would like to see. I'm going to do a lot of R&R &R this weekend, but um, yeah, please catching up on the blog as well. So if you haven't been reading the blog, please go ahead and check that out. I'll have this video up on YouTube shortly as well, but um, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend or a wonderful day, depending on how, um, uh, when you're watching this and until next time, enjoy celebrating today.